to welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. I mean, call it whatever you want, you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Whatever floats your fancy? Yeah, whatever floats your fancy, man. All right, I'm excited about this. We're doing things together. Let's dive on in. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier and you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the Wheel of Energy! Wheel of Energy, let's give it a good old fashioned spin. Spin a review! What will we have? What's it gonna be? Oh, it's a raucous pummeling kind of day, which is so appropriate because raucous pummeling is enjoying a sweet, sweet victory on our recent step competition over on the uh, Super Carlin mm -hmm. Brothers Discord. You really had to go there, didn't you? you ben, really had to I go mean, there. I think like five of the top five were raucous pummeling, so great job to everyone out of the raucous pummeling team. We crushed it. I got third overall myself. Shout out to Team Eyeball Energy. We tried our best. Hey, you did. We saw y'all. Down there. I see eyeball, eyeball yeah, joke. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good yeah, one. Why don't you just tell about the randomly chosen common chase cards? I will. You today's randomly chosen common chase cards are Drowsy, Torkoal, and Dashbun. Doxbun. Doxbun. Oh, I got to correct you. Was it? Is I thought you said it's like a dashend. A dachshund. A dachshund. A okay, dachshund. a dox bun. A dox bun! A dox bun! Okay. It's like a dog made out of buns. It's so good. It looks like it smells so good. I want to smell that dog. <laughs> I want to smell Can I smell your dog? Can I smell your dog? People are like, smells. oh yeah, wait. Should I smell? Yeah, I said it. Pet would be fine. Smell? Mm. A little, little bit strange. Yeah. You want to move the skateboards? Well, we are at Rockus Pumbling, so what should we do for that? Just go back to good old fashioned Eevee? I believe so. All I right. think that's what we got to do, because at the end of the day, while Eevee may look like a normal type, they're actually way, 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 way more inclined to uh, extreme battle. Eevee! I wonder if he gave a little, like a little wink while he was back there. Like, oh. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Ethan, add, a, add an Eevee wink in post. I love it. There we go. All right. All right. Without any further ado, let's break this box. Mm -hmm. So this is going to start being the second pack for each person we're opening. Everyone playing the game has officially opened one pack thus far. Uh, that said, that doesn't mean we don't have some rookies in the field. These rookies will still be up for the last place award because you need um, a minimum of two packs to qualify for that. And I believe we have, uh, let me check my notes here, five rookies in today's field uh, so, as well. So. All right, so I'm excited to see how those rookies that, that will fare. We've seen them go really every single direction. We sure have. Some some really amazing stuff. As we're Reminder, the, the first place score to beat is currently 77 points with, I believe, that Miriam pull. That Miriam pull was insane by Margo. Uh, first up today, we actually have our fifth place contender, uh, Math Matthias, who uh, opened a 30-point pack on their first go-around. So Matthias is in a great spot to try and jump up on the leaderboard with just one more big pull. Let's see how they do for the day. The, uh, Matthias is coming in for Team Grass, which is currently absolutely annihilating the competition. And as ever, Grass energy off the top, so you love to see that. Let's see the Dolive, the Quaxley, the Pawnar, the Spiritune, the Ultra Ball, the Espathra, the Skeledurge actually does score, the Riolo will score. And the Meowscarata. So that looks like it's just going to be a three-point uh, pack a overall. Standard three-point pack, a I standard believe. Three. Yeah. All right. So out of the gates, buns glazing, yeah. as it were. But now uh, three points for a total of 33 for Matthias. Well done. Well done. Great, great start to the day. Great, good showing for Team Grass. That there. is. You know, I'm not sure that's going to change the leaderboard for Grass at all, but. Actually, that could affect it because, it will, because yeah, yeah, they, yeah, I'm they sorry. They take them from 202 to at least 205. There you go. So um, they're on the. They're moving up in points. Putting them a full 100 points above second place in the team awards right now with Team Fire at 104. That's so, right. But Tina Dodge Tina about Dodge. to uh, see if she can shake things up. Yes, yeah, so and this is our first rookie of the day, Ben. So right out of the gate, we have a rookie, Tina, her first pack ever. 
Let's person. see. All right, Tina, how welcome. is she going to do? Welcome to the competition. There's dark our dark teardrop. Tear drop, I can't wait for the first raucous pummeling. I know. We got the Lechonk, the Flabebe, the Growlithe, the Staravia. Staravia. Nice. Beach Court, the Santa, Santa Conda will scores, score, the Many Champ will score. score. The Toxel will not score. The Halucha will score. Score twice. Score twice. And another oh! Halucha! Oh my gosh! Wow, the double Halucha! So this is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six! Whoa! Whoa that is absolutely crazy. amazing! All right. So Tina Dodge comes in with a great showing for that rookie of the day and yeah. that Olive Garden gift card. Really embracing the raucous pummeling nature of the day. Really and truly though, okay. uh, very impressive. So we have been discussing what should happen in an event like this where you pull two of the same card. It happens more often than you think. And so we won't be implementing it this season, but in future seasons, we've decided this is what's going to be called a critical hit. A critical hit. And if it happens to you, it will be worth the same as the type advantage of the day, which will be a two times multiplier. A two times multiplier. Now that so, doesn't happen right now, unfortunately, for Tina, but you can see what it will look like in the future. In the future. It's actually hilarious that that happened just on our second pack because we have spent a good portion of today talking like in between all the other things that we do about how to handle this very like this very instance. Yeah. And it happened right out of the right game. Right away. So very so, much looking forward to when that's really a part of the a, game. A would be critical hit. Because because you could potentially have the type advantage and a critical hit at the same time. Right, exactly. Yeah. Which would be really fun. Next up we have Jupiter Fox coming into the day. Looking at one of our last place uh, people, they presently have one point on the board and it is an eight cent card. So Jupiter is either looking to go really big or really small in this pack. Let's see what she can do. Let's see, indeed. Man, all right, throw that over there and boom! So the metal, that's probably good. They don't want to see the rockets pummeling. They, 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 they the don't, yeah, place. there we go. Yep, okay, okay. Yes, the Toddle, Drifloon, Varum, Magikarp, Bombardier, the Hypno, the Beach Court, the Chansey does not score. Oh, oh the but the armor! Look at that artwork. That is beautiful. That is, I feel like some, oh, and, oh wow. Is. So it ends up being a double pull. So we're going to have to look up two cards there. There we go. The I Gyarados like, EX and the Armor Rouge. Like Honestly, some, it wouldn't surprise me if the Armor Rouge is worth more. I was going to say, this feels like it could take you out of that last place contention yeah, by just For so much. sure. Yeah, so the Armor Rouge is going to come in at $5.19, so six points six there. Six points there. And then the Gyarados, number 45 on the set, is going to be worth. $1.83, so two points there, so eight points. Eight point pack, well I'm afraid that's gonna take you way out of contention for last place. But uh, either way, the good news is you have two very beautiful cards heading your way, Jupiter. There we go, and honestly, three packs in, we're already seeing some cool stuff, Man, so that's very exciting. I didn't actually write your points down, that was a mistake. There we go, now we've done it. That would, that would make awesome. sense. Yeah. Later. Just trying what? to figure out. <laughs> Next up is Bubsy. Oh, another person who's competing for that last play spot. They have 15 cents so far with their single point. There we go. I know. It's, the season. It'll be very interesting. You know, that last place is always so hard to track, but as we get towards the back end of the season, it starts to really come into play. So yeah. it'll be fun. Oh, there's an eyeball, eyeball energy. energy representing and the Fido, the Dedene. Oh, excuse me there. Uh, the Pineco, the Flittle. Man, I have not been properly looking for our randomly chosen common chase cards. Have you kept an eye we, out? I have a keeping okay, eye. We good. have not hit any so far. Okay, the Muck, the Vivalon. Oh, there's one. There's one right there. Look at that. Yeah. It's like we knew it was coming. The, the Krogun uh, will not score. The Klefki will does. score. And some bonus J points there. Man, and that, if only Eyeball Energy I had know. been the, Look at the this. type advantage. Look at this. It would have been it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times two. It would have been... And actually, that would have been eight because that's worth two. It, it, that would have been worth two, but obviously it's not. We're just, um, you know, it's just interesting to see. It's just interesting poetic to see. over here. Yeah, well, well said. Wow. Thank yeah. you. So, so one, two, three points Bam. on the pack. Just three. Just three. There you go. So honestly, that probably brings you out of contention for last place. I'm thinking it's going to take a three point finish to get there, and right now you're going to be up to four points. So there is that. But you get all these awesome uh, eyeball cards coming your way. So. You're welcome. All right, next up is Jacob Worginus. Like the drink. Oh, like we're we're Guinness. We're Guinness. We're, did you say Guinness? Gin, I think is it like Guinness the drink or yeah. like gin the drink? Oh, this is super confusing. You're right because it could be we're gin because if there's an arrow coming from the gin like the drink, but Guinness is also a kind of drink and you pronounce them differently. So this isn't helpful. Well, Jacob's um, got two points on the season so, so far. <laughs> that's the important thing. And they've got a lightning bolt energy coming in, crushing hammer, the Starly, the Flittle, the Arvin, 
The Mesa goes to the Staravia, does not score. The Tandem House does not score. Uh, and the Miraidon will get you just oh, one man. single point on the pack. So. Let me, do I, shall, I, should I double check that uh, just for... Yeah, we can put down the, the cents there in case it comes down to more of a four-point finish, I suppose. Yeah, the Miraidon's going to come in at nine cents overall, so just for just for good record keeping. Just so we know. Wow. All right, so there you go, Jacob Virgin Guinness. We're we're gin Guinness. We're gin Guinness. Whether you're referring to Guinness the the beer or gin the spirit. The spirit. Oh man, right here we have Ethereal Squirrel Ben, oh my who gosh. is our next rookie of the day, playing for Gra or uh, Team Salad, I should say. All right, Eth yep. Squirrel. Let's see what we got for you here. How are they gonna do? So the, the the number to beat is six points for the Olive Garden chase card today. Right, I know. We've seen it. We've seen battles for the for the Olive Garden card literally it goes be like deciding all over the place. Right. Yes. We've had like five, six people all score one point in one day, and we've already got right. somebody with six. So. I, I, don't know, I don't know. No one has sent us a picture of them attending the Olive Garden yet, but I super duper want a picture. I of would when you love go. that. And if you brought your cards with you, yeah. Like, oh, please do it. Please do it. Bonus, be amazing. Bo bonus points that don't mean anything, but we just want to see it. We do. Uh, the Quaxwell, the EXP share, the Toad Scroll, the Mash Shift, the Shuppet will not score, and the Quaquavel. 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 Only going to be a single point pack there for Ethereal Squirrel. Yeah, and that's going to come in at 10 cents overall. So one point, 10 Honestly, cents. Honestly, Ethereal Squirrel finds himself in a pretty good position because you can get last place with two packs, and they now have one point. Right. So we'll only get one more pack. So, so as long as they open a pack next month, they they are in contention. So right. good good opportunity to strike there for there that last you know. place award, which does get you an entire ETB, so that it's a does. great place, though. great thing to win. Alright, next up we have Maddie coming Maddie. in today with two points. Uh, Maddie got to do the Disney College program in 2016. Hey, and also Maddie, I gotta say, is just truly uh, in need of scoring some big points. So far, the cumulative score across three packs that Maddie has opened is a total of four points. Four, that's putting a goose um, egg up. Yeah, so I can see I can see Maddie beating that four points just with this pack alone. I mean, it's very possible. We got the Magnemite, the Tarantula, the, the Pokemon Sandaconda, the Sandaconda score. scores, right? There's Katie, there's Star Raptor, the Quaxwell will not, the Fuicoco will not, and the Indeedee Good will. Goodness gracious! Wow, there you go. So Maddie gonna put up another two points on the board. Uh, very consistent player. Yeah, uh, that's the yeah. third time in a row they've scored two points on their pack. So, so just really well just done, waiting. I, I think just heating up. That's right. all, That's what I like to see there. Yeah, yeah just cooking. Like, just cooking. The, the further the further into the future we go, where nothing unbelievable has happened, just means that the opportunity is right. Something something big is coming for sure. Next up is Stacy. All right, coming into today with three points on the season. Uh, apparently on a bad day, the Benjamin and Jonathan always make her feel better. Oh, oh. thanks so much, Stacy. Hey, there's a rocket. The rocket is that, that always makes oh, me feel better. That makes right me there. feel great about this pack. We got the Fubi Coco, the Drowsy, Let's the go. Mona, the Latronk, the Tatsugiri, mm. the Scovelin. Yep. Uh, oh, the the Torkoal Torko will score. Yep, there we go. Randomly Greedent chosen. The Greedent not, will not score. Uh, the the Muck will does not end. And the Klefki. Oh, man. So it's going to end up being a four point pack. A four point pack overall with that two times multiplier. Well, so really, I mean, not not as thrilling as we were kind of hoping for getting our first uh, type advantage of the day. But seven, that brings her to seven points on the season. That potentially puts you in some like Big Steve zone because the, the number to beat for that, I believe, is 13. Yeah, let's double check right. Big Steve real quick. Be right, Big right, Steve. Right. Is currently at 11, so 12 points overall. Nobody has 12 points at all. So, okay, uh, whoever gets 12 points would be the first person to be directly above. So, sitting at seven, you feel like you're in a good striking spot to get to 12, right? Right, right. Can you get five next month? Right, that's the big question. All right, next up, we have uh, Joe Cathan, Joe Cathan. Uh, who is coming in with 60 cents on their first pack, so another potential last place contender here. Let's see how they do. Can they maintain their one point status? The okay. last person we saw trying to do this obviously scored big, but yeah, that Arm Rouge. I think Joe uh, <laughs> is the English teacher who uses Pokemon cards uh, as prizes in their classroom. That is amazing. It is very cool. Oh, another oh, rock is pummeling. So okay. Joe not going to be hitting. Uh, oh, and here we go, right at the gate. They got the Mankey scoring points, some points. Yeah. The Charcadet, the Capsa Kid, the Heracross, the Defiance Bank. Can we get something big here for Joe? 
the Shroomish, the Cyclozar does score, and oh, oh. the Polar Magnezone. Oh man, how exciting! Very right. cool. Okay, take a we'll take a look at that. Full art always gonna score some some uh, some points for you, and we're gonna get that double on here. So definitely out of last place. Gosh, as as far as the uh, full arts though go, oh, it's no. not exactly the most oh, impressive. No. Two dollars seventeen cents. A round three, up to three, three, four, five. So it's gonna be a ten point pack overall, which actually puts you at eleven points. Which is very exciting, Big Steve wise, because that's what Big Steve is at. So, should Joe repeat her one point performance on her last pack, that would be perfect. Big Steve. Wow. So, really, just, just think terrible pulls. Right. You don't want it. Nothing, but, want nothing it. but like a bear cyclozar. Look at that. That is that is an impressive uh, strike, especially coming on the heels of that last um, big the big Steve yeah competition. That's that's heating up this round for it sure. It sure is. It sure is. All right. Next up, we got Chadster. Chadster. <laughs> Chadster coming in. Actually, man, I'm talking about Big Steve has ten points as well. Very possible to go back to back with single point packs, which would put you at twelve points as well. Although so. the the other one right <laughs> above that is going to be the quality eighth place position, uh, which. Is is currently being held by Dalton Green with 19 points. Oh, that, that could change so much. That could absolutely change yeah. a lot. Yep, anybody shaking out the top of that leaderboard is going to shift that around a little All bit. Right, so, so Chadster may be looking for a single point. There we'll we see. go. So the Palmy, the Smoliv, the Wiglet, the Grievard, the Vitality Band, the Cyclozar, the Toxitricity, the Fido is not the one we're looking for uh, and will not score. The Buizel will not score, but oh, the, the Banette will. will! Although, honestly, this could be a single point EX card. It, it would not surprise me if this is only worth one point. Kind of taking over that bulk V category yeah. we've talked about in the past. And in fact, you're right. 72 cents what? for that the net means only a single point. Single point. That Just brings Chadster to 11, oh, tied man. with Big Steve. So again, Chadster may be looking for just a single point on their final pack. Yeah, and as a reminder, again, Big Steve has already opened all, all of three. his packs. So that's a static yes. number. Yes, so that will not change for the rest yeah. of the season. All right, okay, man, how exciting. Next up is Austin Johnson coming into the day with seven points. Okay, good showing, so good that showing. Is. That's a pretty good first pack. About 22nd overall, so right. yeah, great place to be in. Definitely gonna move up the leaderboard some. Good uh, eighth place potential, starting with seven for sure. Let's see how we do here. We're gonna get, bam, the Fireball Energy. We have the Dollop, the, the Quaxley, the Polinard, the Crushing Hammer, the Electric Generator, the Judge, the Mabostiff does not score. The Rawls does not, not score. Oh, oh, the Spidops will score. But there one, you go. But once but, again, it doesn't how much? feel like it'll be. There are three versions of the Spidops, which makes the base version, which this one is, uh, not so good. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, so coming in at 70 cents. Oh, so no. like, once again, just that single point single overall. Point. But eight points total, so again, good striking distance for something else. Plus, we'll put in a sleeve for you, and I just gotta say, these sleeves, Look at that. absolutely stunning. Uh, so I mean, you know, I mean, that's just what you're, that's really like, you know, that's that's the real prize. <laughs> that's the money. Boy, the Karadon's a good pull today, too, with the, uh, the type advantage. If someone can pull it off. Next up is Gildruin. Gildruin. All right, so if we're following the trend, Gildruin is a, another last place contender. They are coming into the day with one point and nine cents. But the other players who have put in these low numbers up front have been pulling big. So we're going to see what Gildruin can do. Or if maybe they continue on the one point path. There we go. Um, it does look like Gil Druin is currently training for a 50k ultra marathon, Yikes. which I gotta say, I just completed my own first marathon, and I, ha I just hats off to you. That's very impressive. All right, we have LeChonk, we have the Slowpoke. The Nest Ball, Ball, Ball scores two, two. Right there, so that's yeah. gonna take you out of last place. Uh, Pachirisu, the Picnic Basket, the Smoliv, ooh, the Houndstone does score, score yep. and, and the, the King, King Gambit, Gambit will score. So that's gonna be a two, three, four point pack overall. So gonna bring you to five points total on the season. Okay, so probably out of last place, probably but maybe now starting place. to look at Big Steve or that quality eighth place yeah. award. You're in the you're in you're in the talks. All right, next up, Ben, we have Ken's. Ken's. Ken's, who's coming today with four points. Uh, Ken's runs a D&D campaign every other Wednesday. No way, very impressive. We just played our first ever D&D campaign a couple of weeks ago, yes, we and did. it was so much fun. Yes. So. Uh, there we go. Uh, the Metal Energy. Metal Energy. Nice, nailed it. Uh, the Flabebe, the Growlithe, the Stariva, Stari Staravia, Staravia yeah, the Waltz, it. the Breloom, the Kilowattrol, the Greedent, 
Uh, the Zangoose. Does not score. But check this out. Oh! Boom! The, oh, the illustrator art Jack. Oh, That's man. That awesome. looks like money. It does. Look at that. He's just like snoozing just on snoozing, his desk. Man. And like the wind is blowing. There's oh, a I coffee love cup that in artwork. There's so much going on. Man, and the cloth. The which cloth. is a finding. So it's going to be two points. Two points. There we go. So let's check on that Jacques for man, you. Man, that is going to be nice. That's a really good pull. That's 250 I'm going to go ahead and grab a C for you. Overall, it's going to come in at $9.53. Rounds up to 10 Ten. 11, plus 12. 12, yep, there we go. So what does that put overall for 16 Ken? overall. 16, which would currently at the start of the day would have been around 13th place. Right, so, so eighth place striking distance for sure. Absolutely, absolutely. And who's to say that Ken's won't come in uh, next pack and just pull something absolutely outstanding. Oh, just, I know. Just gun for first. And you got the Jacques. And oh, you got the Jacques. Such a great card. That's the, that's the real prize, you know? Sometimes it's... Those guys, bam! All right, next up we have uh, Nixie Claw. Nixie Claw. Nixie Claw, who has put up, who's only pulled two packs ever, and both of them have been worth six points. So they're coming into the day at six points uh, total. Let's see how Nixie Claw does. Boom! Oh, I feel like we're getting near another Rockus Pum. I know. I, although six points, so they pulled six points twice so far. If yeah, they were doing it again today, scores. it would put them in that that perfect sweet spot for the, the Lucario scores. Oh, oh the, the illustrator art, but back to back illustrator art trainers. What? Oh my what gosh, that's is amazing. This? I think the penny is worth more than the Jacques, too, but we'll have to go double check that. This is a great pack. So, one, two, three, plus whatever the penny is worth. All right, number 252. Oh, on the man. Set. What a great pull. We're well on the very done. The last Nixie page. Claw. All right, that's going to come in at $14.08, so 15 points. Wow, 15 uh, plus three is 18 points. 18, which I think would tie you. Well, you're at 24 total. Oh, 24 total. Which actually puts you in a tie at seventh on the day, which means one of you, between you and Berkeley Comstock, would be in eighth place. Hey! That's crazy! Amazing! Wow, all right, so there you go. Eighth place, heating up at the moment, and gosh, look at the penny card, that is Awesome! I know, I know. Now, now so I'm getting good. worried. I feel like we pulled some cool stuff already. Man, we're getting, we're getting some packs. This is a great box. Two illustrator rares back to back is wild. Um, I wish, I wish I was getting that lucky in my own poll. Next up is Dockery. I uh, was coming in the day with three points. Is it your poll? I think it's yours. my poll. Yeah, yeah we'll go, we go for it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Dockery gives out Pokemon cards to their trick or treaters. I did that exact same thing this year. Man, it was so it was so funny to me because I didn't know what to expect, like whether or not the kids would get it. And I would yeah. walk up and I would say, "You can have a piece of candy or a pack of Pokemon cards." Uh, like the little, they're like three three yeah. cards, um, <laughs> and every single one of them without fail. Oh. Not a single kid would take the candy. No, you get candy cards. at every other house. You right? Know. Yeah. Nah, it's like <clears throat> you only get Pokemon cards here. All exactly. right. The Mastiff, the Spupa, the Metatite will scores, score. Yep. yep. The Energy Search, the Mouse Hold, the Crocolar. Yep. Crocolar. Nice. The Florges. The switch. Oh, oh, what is happening in this box? Dude, but look, but look, but look, but look. Oh, oh my gosh. Research, dude. This is such a good box. This I is absolutely it. loaded. Yes, that's oh, man. unreal. Okay, so um, did I miss anything else in there? No, but I don't no? think okay. so. Doing okay. <clears throat> All right, so let's check the um, the professor's research first. We're going to be number 241 Man. On the set. There's two of them. There are two professor researches, yes. Okay, 241 is going to come in at $5.09. Okay, so that's six points. So six points. And then the Mabostiff is, is 218. 218. Um, which is going to be worth $2.95, so, so that's an extra three. three. So nine plus the Metatite is 10 points on the pack. Wow. Man, that is uh, up to 13 on the season now for Dockery. Gosh, this box <gasps> is broken. It I don't know is. what's going on. That is Three full art trainers back to back. Like, if you had, just, if you had just purchased this box, you would be like, just. You'd be, it, it's raining. It's raining. Oh, man. Let's see if it can continue to rain. Because next up is Braun, our next contender. Braun. Rookie of the day. It feels so unlikely that we would have another like full art pack in a, four in a row. Let's see, Braun. Can you do it? Six is the number to beat right yep. now. Tina. To take Tina. Over Tina. Yep. Tina currently has it. Yep. Let's see how we're going to do Metal Energy. Metal energy right the Here we go. The Wattrel, the Zangoose, the Krogunk, the Dedenne, the Hypno... Actually, no, not the Hypno. No, we're Sorry. looking for a Drowsy. Bombardier, the Beach Court, the Florigato, the Espathra, and the, the Hound 
Yeah. So, so sadly, oh. just a single point. I'm gonna double check just to just to track the scores yeah, here. Yeah, we should the double check. This is another. This is another great situation where a rookie has a single point on their one of their two packs. Ooh, and it's truly awful. Oh. Seven cents. Wow. So yes. really good uh, last place pull there. Really, uh, you love to see it, I guess. I I guess. I guess. I don't, you know. Anyway, it's coming to you. Got that houndstone. Next up is heartbeat. 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 Ooh, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> that was not planned. <laughs> All right, is it me? I don't even know. I'm going. Do it. Yeah, why not? Do it. <clears throat> Here we go. Heartbeat has been watching SC Beat for a long time. It's what got him into Harry Potter fantasy in general. No way! Oh man, you're welcome. Well, if you haven't read Name of the Wind yet, here's your monthly recommendation to read Name of the Wind. All right, here we go. We have Mareep, the Silk Cobra scores, the Riolu scores, scores, the Tatsugiri does not. Scoblin, the Torkoal scores, lots of, uh, Advantages going on here. The Coridon also was going to be rare and score twice because it's the fighting and the rare card. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five points for Heartbeat. Wow, really using that type advantage to, yes. to their advantage. And those commonly chosen, or randomly chosen common chase cards. That's the one. Bam. All I'm right, glad so that we didn't make all of our terminology incredibly wordy. Yeah, right? That would have been really unfortunate and difficult to say lots of things. Right. Anyway, seven points for Heartbeat over there on the season. Great scoring position. Uh, next up, Ben, we have, okay, let's see if this can continue. We have another last place contender coming in with a seven cent pack, so maybe they pulled the Houndstone uh, earlier. This is Caitlin. Okay, Caitlin. Oh, hold on. Never mind. Let me say it again. Okay. Change name on Patreon to Coco Crystals. But what? Coco Crystals? The artist formerly known as Caitlin. Now known as Cocoa Crystals. Now known as Cocoa Crystals. So they're coming in with a single point and seven cents. So someone has got to re repeat on the one point pack. I know, yeah. It's been no weird. One has yet. Yeah, normally it's like it's not that uncommon because at the end of the day, like there are more less valuable packs than valuable packs. But yeah. so far everybody who's been in that last place has been like, well, it just kind of blew that right out of the water. Yep. So let's see if right. Coco Crystals can do that as well. The Tandem Mouse, the Poke Gear, the Floet, the Palmy, yeah, the, the Crocodile you know, Score. So score, there you the go. The Amigo, the Ferretris, uh, the Vitality Band will not score. The Skiddo will not score. And the Palmot. Oh, well. so, so really two not. Two points overall, three points on the season for Coco Crystals. There we go. There we go. Okay, so Palmot honestly, your way. With, with the exception of that crocodile, uh, that literally looked like the, the trappings for a great last place. It did. Position. Yeah, the Palmot, that wasn't going to be worth much at no, all. No, no. It, does, it doesn't even feel like it should be a rare. Right? It's like, like so that was the last one to get promoted to star status. <laughs> It's actually one of the, um, it was one of the pre-release promos. Oh, was it really? So wow. yeah, I think it might have been, it might have been a little higher up. But hey, another chance to score one point is Blood Vamp coming in with one point and seven cents as well. Goodness gracious. Man, so we're hitting, we're right down that, there. We, Someone is going to actually score, score big, by which I mean low for last place. I feel like what we found is like <clears> the <throat> pool of those rookies during that one episode that were all just scoring one point. <clears throat> right? Yeah, you're this, right. This is that, and their last pack was their rookie Was game there, too. yeah, yeah. So let's see if Blood Vamp has it in them to uh, stay low. They have three black cats, so they're channeling lots of bad luck. Lots of black. Literally, I read their note and I thought it said three black cars, and I was like, well, that's kind of interesting. Like three black cars. There you go. Uh, the Wiglet, the Grievard, the Moshjif, the Rocky Helmet, the Mabostif, the Oinkalone, the Judge does not score, the Surviper doesn't score, and the Research doesn't score. Well, it does score, well, it, but it it's just the one point. It doesn't score a lot. It doesn't score a lot, which is right. maybe what Blood Vamp is going for. How much does this Research score? All right, let's see how unlucky you could really be with those three cats. Mm -hmm. 189 is worth 25 cents. So okay. like in the okay. scheme of rare cards, it's actually reasonably competitive, so, but you're the only person to do this terribly this well. Right, so, so your like, 32 cents looks great. Yeah, congratulations. Well done. Nicely, nicely scored thus far. We shall see if you can continue forward. Blood call, call a friend or family member to let them know the good news. Yes, exactly. You've, you have earned 37, 32 cents worth of cards on yes. this show. Right. All right, Ben, next up is uh, Kevin. Uh, Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. Kevin. All right, also now Kevin is another uh, player who came in with a single point on the day, but 15 cents preloaded. Okay, okay, so okay. let's see, uh, Kevin is a game developer, so we'll see how his gameplay uh, goes out. Hey, we're kind of game developers over hey, here at Carly Mother's Box We are breakers. developing this game. Hey, like, oh, in real time sometimes. Yeah, I'm sure 
that this means that uh, Kevin is good at like coding games or something with the computer. Which we are, yeah, we're not. Good we're at not. No, so not it's not the same. Um, uh, the Crocker Rock score. Wow. Yeah, the Miriam, the Spirit Tomb, the Ultra Ball, well, the Santa Conda will score. The Quaxley will not, not score, and the Karate will, will score twice. Score. Yeah, so one, two, three, four points four overall. Points overall. So probably going to blast you right out of last place contention. I'm afraid, I'm afraid that's going to blast you right out. It's going to stick with Blood Vamp for the uh, last place award a just at the moment. A true pity. Right? You know? Anyway, next up we have got, oh, our first couple of the day, Ben. Haley and Colin! Haley and Colin! Man, they are coming into the day with two points. One for each of them. All right, let's see. Can we score them some more points, though? So they have had they have had some decent seasons so far. Season yeah. three, they scored twenty points. Season four, they scored twenty two points with just a single pack. Bit of a power couple. But yeah, absolutely. Eyeball energy, which eyeball is my energy. personal favorite. Ben's personal favorite. Ooh, the Metathite will score. The there rock is pummeling right there. The Grimer, the Spirit Tomb, the Ultra Ball, the Espathra, the Potion, the Scatterbug does not score, and, and the, the Skeletor. So just two just points two so points. far. But hey, you know what? If history is any marker, it just means that their next pack is going to be worth like eighteen points. And that's or what it feels like. That's what it feels like indeed. So <laughs> I've, I've, I'm putting out good vibes for you there. Wouldn't sweat it at all, you guys. Haley and Colin, you guys right? are going to be just fine. Going to be great. You're just fine. Be... All right, all right. Here we go, though. Okay. Next okay. up for Rookie of the Day is. I can't even know if I can say it. Mistivios? Mistivios? Mistivios. Mistivios. There we go. I said that sounds actually really cool now that I say it correctly. No, I know. Mistivios. Like, Mistivios. Ooh. All right, you ready? Of mystery about them. All right, actually, you know what? <coughs> uh -oh. In honor of Mistivios, I'm going to take from my secret side pack over here. Here we go. So hopefully this doesn't <coughs> come back to bite both of us. Oh man, Mistivios. All right. You get the lone ETB pack for the day. All right, we're about to see That's what happens. Go. All right, do we have? You got good feelings? Be, oh, oh, salad energy. Salad energy. Well, yeah, I mean, they're okay. the team that's winning. Yeah, there we go. So there's that. The Quaxley, the Pontiard, the, the crushing, crushing Hammer, hammer the Starly, the Muck, the Vivalon. Oh, the, the Dox Bun will, will score. score. The, the Chomp, Chomp does will not, not score. The Squovit will not score. And, and the, the King, King Gambit. Gambit will not. Oh, well, it we does. Tried. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, it will. Yes. So, uh, but just just the two points on the pack there, there overall. You go. So I'm sorry. I I tried to summon you something good from from the beyond and unfortunately all I got you was a King Gambit. So. There you go, Mistivios. But you know, if you ever if you ever see me IRL, you can bring it up and be like, hey, thanks for doing that. Hey, thanks for nothing, Ben. Thanks for nothing. Wow. Don't even give me no other context. Just walk away. Yeah, that, just we'll walk know it was away. you. We'll be like, that person was still Mistivioso. Yeah, no, that's true. <laughs> oh man, all right, next up, Ben, Afropunk. Afropunk, fan favorite. Fan favorite Afropunk coming into the day with 1.9 cents. So, Same with us in season two. I know, so, so shout out. Punk, yeah. uh, been around for a while, had a couple of good seasons, did an 18, a 24, uh, only four points during the Crown Zenith season, and so far just a single point now, so maybe they've really adopted a new strategy. Could be, could uh, be. Yeah, in here. Oh, oh, the raucous bumbling energy is in play. Maybe Afropunk is going big, let's maybe see. We'll see, we'll see. The Go-Go, the Scatterbug, the Shuppet. Man. man, can you imagine if it had been Salad Energy? Know, Look at this. Amazing. It's wild. Kilowatt will greet and the Metatite will score. The Scovelin will not, and the, the Annihilate, Annihilate will score. score. So this is, uh, let's see, let's make sure we so do this right. One, two, three, three times two, two is six. six. All right, we did it. We did Math. it. All right, that's going to be six points on the day and seven points on the season for Afropunk. So uh, surging forward, good good for, um, you know, competition for Big Steve. Quality Maybe eighth. Quality eighth. We're going to have to see how it all shakes out. But next up is uh, Andrew P. Andrew who P. must be sitting near the top of the leaderboard. They are currently, at least heading into the day, we're in 11th place with 17 points. Okay, so this is the pack that <laughs> would have been pulled. Oh, for Mistivioso. For Mistivioso. So let's yeah. see, let's see just how much. How much did you, uh, did you, um, you know, keep them from a trip to the Olive Garden? Right. I, yeah. it's, it's, can you imagine? Uh, can you imagine? Well, I we're gonna know. Energy switch. The Varum. <clears throat> the Clauncher. The Skiddo. The Jacques. The Florigato. The Zangoose. So far, I'm feeling okay. Yeah. I'm feeling uh, the uh, the alo beautiful artwork there. Although it does not score us anything. Cacnea the Cacnea does doesn't score. score. And the, the Professor's research. research. Does not. So you know what? 
Neat, no chance of heading to the garden. I'm no chance, none whatsoever. Let's just double check <clears throat> 190. Uh, for, do we need that for record Don't keeping? Don't think so, because okay. I have 17 points on the day. So I'm not we're really, fine, we're fine. We're not plussed about this research. We're not worried about, uh, is it Andrew coming in in overall Andrew last place? Andrew yeah, with his Professor Turo here. Nah, you're not coming in last unless things get really wild. Which they won't. Um, next up is Kelly K. Kelly K. Kelly K. Second pack ever. This is also her rookie season, just not her okay. rookie outing. Right, very right, right. All yes. right. Let's see how Kelly is gonna do. She's loved Pokemon since she was a kid, but just started playing the card game with her husband. Hey! And a three-year-old son. I love it. I love it. Nothing better than when you're doing it as a family. There we go. We got the Lightning Bolt Energy, the Bruxish, the Cacnea, the Sandile Sand Wills Four. The Mareep, the Arvin, the Cacturn, the Mezagoza, Lechonk, Floet, and Flourish! Hey, oh, it's a Rhydon! Right How about that? that? That's pretty good. 81 cents. All right, so 81. super 81 competitive cents. card at the very least. Or it will be a uh, relevant card moving forward for a long time. Uh, I can just fill your bench immediately Goodness with gracious, Pokemon. Surprisingly competitive card over yeah. here. $10, 3 cents. There you go. So that's 11 plus the one on the sand dial. Um, is going to be 12 overall. <laughs> Good math. I was yeah, like, I got it. Is that 11 plus? Plus one. one Sorry, I wasn't sure if I did the math with the sand dial already. I like forgot. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, now I've so already, so 12. 12, 12 points. points. Yeah. So 15 Total. points on the season. So uh, it's going to tie you. Coming in today would have tied you for 13th. 13th yeah. Um, so good striking distance for a quality eighth place as long as you can pull something cool uh, in the last pack of the season. Woo! Can it be done? Can it be done? Right. Certainly someone will do it. Either way, you get the Maraid on, and that's awesome. That is awesome. All right, Ben, I believe we have our final contender for Rookie of the Day today. It is going to be Megan K. Megan K. All right, so who is our current leader, Tina? Current leader <coughs> is Tina with six points overall. Let's see what Megan can do. All right, Megan needs to beat six points with her Why do I feel here. like it's gonna be a tie? Oh it's man, we're gonna have to get down to dollars and cents. I know, it, that, that's what makes me think it. It's like we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to. There's the Dark Teardrop Energy. There we go. Houndor, the Drifloon, the Citadel, the Varun, the Crocodile will score, the Flamigo, the Fortress. Floatzel does not score. Bruxus does not score. River Room. Wow, so not thinking much nothing, of a tie. Nothing. Just gonna be a two point pack there. So uh, not heading to the garden, but that means that Tina is gonna be our rookie of the day. Well done to Tina. Congratulations. Congratulations, enjoy your breadsticks. And in case anybody thinks that we're joking about the Olive Garden gift cards, we're not joking. You're they are super right duper here. not yeah, joking are, about yeah. it. It is a real competition that we give out random gift cards. We are not sponsored at all by the Olive Garden either. This is just sort of a natural thing that has happened on the show. Uh, next up is Emerald Phoenix. Emerald Phoenix. Emerald Phoenix is maybe the most consistent player in the history of the game. They put up three points points for the last four packs in a row. Wow. That's crazy. Let's okay. see uh, how Emerald Phoenix is, oh, I'm right, sorry, not, there was an 11, I missed season four there. Okay. But four of their last uh, five packs have been three points. There we go, okay, so let's see if the, the three points comes up again. We got a Mankey right yeah. off the top, the Squawkabilly, the Capsicid, the Alola Mola. Yeah. Oh man. The Spothra, the Arvin, the Cacturn, the Tropius will not do anything. The Magnemite, Magnemite will no. not do anything. And, and the Arbeliva. So actually just a two point pack. I so jinxed it for Emerald. Pack. Wow, wow, Goodness, wow, I'm wow. so sorry, sir. I'm sure Emerald will take it up with us I'm later. Sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Emerald is on our uh, monthly Zoom call with patrons, so. We'll, uh, we'll have words about it. There we go. Yeah. That's over on the Super Carlin Brothers <laughs> Patreon, in case there's any confusion. Yeah, not this one. We do have multiple different, yeah, anyway, so can continue. We do do a monthly gaming session with people on this Patreon, so if you want to be in on yeah, that, yeah. yeah, by all means. We're really bad. Well, I am. He's really good. Sometimes. Uh, next up is Dom, who, if you recall, Ben, is all about that family. This is the Dominic Toretto. I think it's your turn to open. Oh, uh, let's do it. <clears throat> all right, Dom, Regularly let's Regularly uses Pokemon cards in the Toy School Workshop. Uh, he runs at the museum and works and shares a birthday with Vin Diesel. Oh, that's right. That's, that's right. how we yeah, know it's yeah, the, the Dominic Toretto. Yeah. yeah. Shares, shares a birthday. Shares a birthday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We get it. <laughs> All right, we got the Claxley right off the top. Uh, Dominic Toretto. Uh, Squovit, the Charcadet, the Lechonk, the Stone Journer. Oh, yeah, the first one Jerner. of those today. The Medichan will score. Look at that. Of course, the Rockus Pummeler show up. For, oh! The Curly There we go. That is Awesome, dude! I can't. I, I have. We have personally opened eight boxes of cards. I think this is, and I've only pulled a single copy of this card. So, and 
Man, that's a really good one. And I feel like I feel oh, like it's that. And there's I, more. I, oh no, okay, oh, it's, it's the, the rev room. Okay, there we go. So Man. really, the 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 Curlia is gonna be the one that we wanted to go look at. Yeah. Do you happen to know? Is that a competitive card? It, well, surprisingly, uh, so they have Guard of War EX in this um, set, and so you'd think the Curlia that got printed with it and is part of this little illustration line would have been the competitive Curlia, but it's not. This is not the Curlia you would play on the How deck. How did that happen? I don't know. The other Curlia is really good though. It, is, it has an ability called Refinement where you can just discard a card from your hand to draw two more cards from your deck. Amazing. So that's really good because Gardevoir EX can accelerate as many psychic energy as you want per turn to any of your Pokemon in play. So you use the Refinement Curlia to discard the psychic energy and then the Gardevoir EX to put it back into play. So so it's a really good combination. They're very powerful together. Um, unfortunately, that's not this Curlia, but this one is the best looking Curlia. That's what I was gonna say too. Yeah. He just sort of summarized it. You're welcome. Me, so yeah. Anyway, the Curlia, by the by, number 212 on the set, it's even worth $9.54. We'll round up to $10. So. So 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 for 14 Dom. points overall. So where does that put Dom How on the season? How appropriate that Dominic Toretto gets this family-based Curlia card, am I right? You can't make this stuff up. You really can't. You yeah. really can't. No matter how hard you try, it's just gotta be true. Yeah. Anyway, congrats to Dom. That's gonna put you at um, a solid 22 points on the season. That's awesome. Yes, which coming into the day would have put been, you in eighth place. Yeah, I believe it could be. Possibly be eighth Might place. Might still just be eighth place. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously a lot of packs still left to be opened, but um, of course, you know, the quality eighth place is another one of those positions that if you end the season in quality eighth, then you do win an entire elite trainer box, which yeah, is do. awesome. Yes. Next up is Pandito. Pandito. Pandito coming in with a single seven cent point bag. Okay, so this is this is <coughs> like a, a um, Cyclozar. So pull in the past yeah, or some, something of the sort. or something. Oh, Hound's Doom or how, how embarrassing slash yeah. also <coughs> potentially uh, helpful. energy. All right, so the Silk Cobra's gonna score a point there right out of the gate. So Ooh, not gonna be right in last the place. Oh, the the oh, oh, no, man. you hate to see it. The go-go, the hair. It's funny how in certain situations you don't want the pulls. I know. The Magneton does not the, score. The, the Prime oh, does score. And, and the, the slow, slow bro. bro. Favorite art of the set. I know, it's, it is beautiful. It <clears> there is we beautiful. go. That's going to be a four-point pack, bringing you well out of last place. Pandito going to bring up to uh, five points on the season. But the good news is you get the slow bro. The slow bro. It's a beautiful card. It is. It's really good. Beautiful. And uh, potentially usable. <clears throat> Next up is Karen. Karen. Karen, who is, uh, let's, is this? Yeah, this is, yeah, I'm sorry. Karen, who I think has 18 points. Coming in, let me double check the scoreboard there. Is that right? Yeah, Karen, 18 points. Boom, right, cool. Boom, right, yeah, good. Couldn't yeah. read my own handwriting. I was like, is that an eight or a zero? Teardrop energy. Yep. All right, so no rock is pummeling. There's the Palmo, mm -hmm. the Toad School, the Rotom, the Chansey, the Mezagoza, the Drift Blim, the Defiance Band. I don't know why oh. I'm talking like this. The Professor's Research will that score. Does score. The Energy Search will not score. And the Dundozo. So it's going to be two points two right points, there yeah. on the pack. Going to bring Karen up to 20 on the season. Very solid. Very solid indeed. Actually, that might have made that. Okay, this is interesting. So going into the day, Dalton Green was in eighth place at 18 points. Or at 19, 19 points. points. Karen scoring two points would put her at 20, which would be eighth place. Wow. Wow. So the eighth place competition really heating up. It really is heating packs. up. Yeah. I'm so excited. And especially as we get into like next month, we're in the final polls for everybody. Oh, it's that's just, the best. It's just sheer madness. I know. All right. Uh, next up, we have Brant. Brant. Another big player in the first round at 17 points. Wow. Let's see how Brant does here uh, coming into the, uh, the second pack. It feels like at 17 points, you're in a great spot to be in eighth place. Uh, let's see, how's it gonna go? Oh, Ooh, fireball, fireball energy. energy, all right. And then we have the Magikarp, the Magnetite, the Tarantula, the Pokemon Catcher, the Rocky Helmet, the Mabostiff, Oinkalone, Flittle doesn't score, Satoddle doesn't, and just the Armor Rouge. Rouge. Wow, man, man okay. a bunch of these last place people looking at that with just pure eyes of envy. I know, like moment. if only that could have been me with the Armor Rouge, know, the single point. Only worth eight cents. So, I mean, that, that really could help someone's cause, but unfortunately it went to somebody who didn't need it. Who didn't need it, nope. All right, uh, next up we have Enselman, uh, who's coming in with two points on the season. So they, I'm not really sure what Enselman is hoping for here. Like a single point is not, they're already out of that last place spot. Do they just want something really big, I think. There we go. You think it's Enselman or Anselman? It might be Anselman. 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 
owns three shiny Paras and two shiny Parasects. Hey, that's great. Dude, I found a shiny Psyduck last week. Did you? I did. I was so excited. I texted Big Steve immediately because Psyduck is his favorite Pokemon. Was he stoked? Yeah, I was like just sitting there on the couch. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> like, was what is that over there? For Pokemon Go? For, uh, no, um, in uh, Pokemon Scarlet. Ah, yes. amazing, amazing. All right, so there we got the Tarantula, <coughs> the Wattrel, the, oh, the Croc, Croc, Croc scores. Yep, the, the Mankey score, scores. the Quaxwell, <coughs> the EXP share, the Toad Scroll, the Energy Switch, the Jacques does not score this go around, and, and the Maraidon. The Maraidon. Man, I feel like we've gotten like out of the big poles here. They're all like in the center of the box. I know, it was very interesting. Okay, so that puts a total of three points on the board. Three points so on the board, five so. Five points on the season. Yeah, for Anselman. I feel like that that like last place award, I mean, I'm sure there's still plenty of contention for it to be like, like one to two to three points. Yeah. But I feel like it, it feels like it might be a little bit more competitive than in the past. Well, speaking of which, Ben, next up we have uh, Zephania Carson, who has got a single point worth 25 cents on the season here. So let me go before I write down your score. Bam. Let's see if they can uh, keep it under 32 cents. Okay. Here we go. Or go big. They love the outdoors. That's what it says on this card. Love the, I love that. I love the outdoors. I love, I the, love outdoors. the outdoors as well. I also love the outdoors. Yeah. All right. We've got... Teardrop oh, energy, so that's good if you're going for that last place stuff here. Sprigatito, the Hound Door, the oh, Nest Ball. You don't want to see it. Uh, the Nest Ball's two points, so not in last place. Picnic Bastic, the Varoom, the Hound Doom, and the, the Dondozo. Dondozo. Man, right, well, so. I just want to look up the Dondozo just for, for just so we know for laughs because people at home might be like, well, why is the Nest Ball scoring two points? And it's because <clears> it's just actually worth that more. much money. It's the only time we've had an uncommon card worth that many points yeah and so it's just like you just have to gotta, count it because each season there. needs its own little spice and flair yeah you exactly know? And that's the sort of the flair of the season so for what it's worth they had 25 cents so it seems like a professor's research was their first poll okay this one would the donozo alone would have been worth 11 cents so that oh. actually would have put them over 36 that would have put them at 36, at 36 and 32 would be the current low current low yeah the current low number on the on the board minus or for two packs anyway for two packs obviously course, still a pack still to go some, for everybody else yeah, yeah. Anyway, here we go. Next up is ABBA, who has three points on the season so far. This is going to be only their second pack ever. They were a rookie on their last pack. Let's see how they do. Can they improve from the... Ooh. Oh, the rock is bubbling. Ooh. Yeah, you love, you to, love to see it. All right, we got the rare candy, the Fido, the, the Dene, the Pineco. Yep. The... Tatsuguri, Ooh, the, the Nest Ball. Ball. Now you want to see it. That's, that's a four-point Nest that Ball is. right there. That's what that is. Okay. Tarantula uh, doesn't score. The Quantra doesn't, doesn't score. score. And, and, oh, oh, Toxicroak. There we go. All right. Now, as ever, it looks like it's a sort of a, a low bulk V kind of card, but you've got the Rockus Pumbling, so let's yeah, see how it so goes. Yeah, so the Toxicroak's going to come in at 76 oh, cents. man. So really just so worth. Is, the Nest Ball's worth more points, so that's going to be three times two is six points yep. total. That's going to bring you to nine points on the season, Abba. So, well done. You get the Toxic Croak. We'll sleeve that up for you. Absolutely. One of these beautiful sleeves headed your direction. Bam. Whoop. And you get the oh. Nest Ball. That's and you get fun. the Nest Ball. Very competitive. Yeah, yeah. You're going to want to run that. There we go. Okay. Now let's go this Quick Ball. But... Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That rotated so now. This is what we're stuck with. Anyway, next up, oh, our next power couple, Ben, it's Stefan and Susie. Power couple to the tune of looking for that last place award once again with seven they cents overall. super are looking for the last place award. So, yeah, they've got seven cents, just a single point. Uh, they love CrossFit and Pokemon. Let's see if they can get a Rockus Pumbling for their CrossFitting uh, needs, although we just saw Rockus Pumbling. But it came back to back earlier. I know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes yeah. that happens. Oh, oh, but it's Eyeball instead. All right, let's see. How do we do? Can we... Keep them in last place. The, the sand, sand dial, dial. Can't. Oh, that's probably gonna knock you that's right out. That's gonna knock you right out. Oh, the hell in the docks, but the Mankey, the Messagosa oh doesn't, and the, the Cyclozar. Oh, you were set up nicely to have just the Cyclozar minus all of our randomly chosen things for the day, but that's how the game goes. Yeah, so four points four on point that pack. pack. There we go. I wonder who what, so they had seven the cents last time. I'm just oh, curious. Absolutely, what? the Cyclozar is worth nothing. Yeah, right? no, I know. I'm just curious. Um, so it is worth seven cents. Uh, I'd be curious if that is the second time they pulled the Cyclozar. Oh, that would be funny. They could have been at 14 cents if they didn't have the uh, the chase cards and the type advantage cards in there. You both love and hate to see yeah, it. You do. Yeah, you do. You, know, do. Like... you guys can fight over your Cyclozar. Yep. All right, next up is Anna. Anna. Anna who has three points on the season. 
Let's see if they can do something big here. Kind oh, this is this is Anna who did something insane in high school that she is still known for, but won't say what it is, which is sort of a weird thing, because if you're known for it, why are you hiding it? Then we know. And we should already know, Maybe right? We do already know. What a, yeah. Um, interestingly, though, <coughs> we do have twin cousins back to who, back. who did claim that they were they 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 were going to be seniors during the COVID year. Yeah. And they, when they told us they had a senior prank planned, we we're like, "What is it?" And they're like, "You'll hear." It's You'll like, hear. You live in New York, and we live in Virginia. What do you mean we'll hear? And they're like, "You'll hear." And, like, okay. and they were sure of it. They were sure we were going to know about it, and yeah. uh, I guess they didn't get to really do it because of COVID. I know, which is too bad <clears> because <throat> I think it probably would have been amazing. But if you're watching, what was it? What was it? Come on. <clears throat> the Squawker Billy, the Caspa Kid, the Alola Mola. Yeah. Yes. Alola Mola. Right? Is that what you said? Okay. We'll pass it. It's just sort of, you just sort of plow through that one. You sure do. No one uh, really knows. I know, at this point in time, I'm looking at you just to be like, thumbs up. Thumbs, thumbs up. up. Yep. Toxicity. Uh, the Spupa will not score. The Dots oh, one will score. Will. And the, the Slow Bro. Oh, everyone loves that slow, bro. That's Everybody gonna be a two-point two pack point there pack. for Anna. But you get some of our favorite Pokemon uh, cards. I mean, Doc's bun is like, I just love the design of it. It's just like, someone was like, yeah, let's, let's just make a cinnamon bun. No, right, yeah. Let's just do it. Let's just go for it. It's amazing. So good. It mm. makes me think of Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal. Oh, right? All right, Ben, this is our final pack of the day. It is Blake coming into the day with uh, three points, plays Ultimate Frisbee. Hey! Let's see uh, if they're going to play some raucous pummeling. When we were in high school at cross country camp, we played in a ultimate frisbee tournament where yeah. I think we came in second. That sounds about right. All right, metal energy, so no oh, raucous okay. pummeling. Okay. Can we get something big? Can we end on a big note? <sighs> the drowsy. Oh, the That's drowsy our first one score. of the day, I believe. You're right! Yeah. The Nimona, the picnic basket, the bombardier, the hypno. The magic carp, the Nimo double Nimona. Oh so man, look, that would have been. See a, what I mean? Could yeah. have been a critical hit. Could have been a critical hit. And the indeed. Oh, how unfortunate. So just two points there on that final pack, going to bring Blake up to five points on the season, and uh, that is going to do it for all of our contestants today. Man, very, very exciting packs all the way around. A bunch of those alts are illustrator art trainers yes. that came through. The those Penny, really the beautiful. Jacques. Yes, and really congratulations good. to Tina, our Rookie of the Day, yeah. who will be receiving an Olive Garden gift card. Um, guys, we have been having so much fun this season opening packs for us. Be sure to let us know all of your thoughts in the towel section down below. Otherwise, we will see you all next time. Bye!